Every spring since 2016, we've sat together as a family and figured out who the next V8 Bull of the Year would be. Then we followed that up with his first semen offering at the international show. We've even been asked a couple of times, how do you select the Bull of the Year? Well, there's no specific criteria the bull has to meet. There's no special formula that even gives us the answer. It's just the bull that we feel is the best, the bull that's the best suited to continue to write the next pages in the V8 Ranch story. The 2022 Bull of the Year is Mr. V8 562 over 8 Guardian. He's a bull that we own in partnership 50-50 with Gary and Kathy Buckholt at GKB Ranches. Guardian is a bull that, that's been an outstanding cave since birth. I can remember here in front of my house when he was just a young cave, Guardian was always a calf that had excellent disposition. He was so gentle and so long and came with a very acceptable birth weight. He had an actual birth weight of 83 pounds. But Guardian's been a good bull from the beginning. The first time we showed Guardian was at Houston Livestock Show at Rodeo. He was calf champion at that show under Pasquale Swanner. The next year we showed him as a two-year-old at the Houston equivalent show at Waco under Jacob Tip, and he was junior champion bull. And then we are coming back this year, and we'll see how he does, but he's been a bull that's won a lot for us. More important than the blue ribbons, we think he's gonna be a really good breeding bull for us. We've got the first caves on the ground now. They've been very light birth weight caves, and also most of them have been snow white. At this ranch, we have a lot of pigmentation and sometimes I've thought maybe we need to have some bulls that are gonna breed that snow white color. And of the calves that we've had out of Guardian this year, all of them have been white with good black nose, great breed character, which we demand so much, except one cave. We do have a dark pigmented heifer. He's also gonna be a bull that's gonna give you a real nice clean sheath. As we've demanded, these cattle have more thickness and more depth and more spring of rib, we've had to be a little bit more tolerant of the sheath than we might like ideally. Well, he's a bull that has good depth and good spring of rib, but still has a very clean sheath with a very small prepuce. Very correct on his feet and legs. And he was a unique bull in that he does have a lot of performance and he is an above average bull for frame size, as was his daddy, the Yeti bull. Yeti was a bull that had tremendous performance on him, but still had a very light birth weight. I think his actual birth weight was 77 pounds. Yeti is a bull that gave great disposition on his caves. And he's a bull that people appreciate because you have good growth to him, but you have the light birth weight. His sire is the 191 bull that was reserved international champion bull at Houston. He comes from a great line of cattle. Gordon's mother would be one of the top five cows we have on this ranch. Miss V8, 49 over eight. She was a former show cow, sired by 380. She was reserve heifer calf champion at Houston under Wes Hudson. She's an extremely long bodied cow, very level topped. She was sired by 380, but her mother is a cow, Miss V8, 539 over six. She's had some of the top selling cattle in our sale. She'd be the maternal grandmother of Dream Girl, who was a national champion herself, sired by 380. That cow has been a great, great producer for her. She comes from a long line of cows that we've had. And of course, you know here at V8 Ranch, the magic is in the cows. And uh, people kind of make me fun of that for saying it, but if they want to make fun of it, that's all right, because uh, that's really where the proof is. That's what separates a lot of times if you have that good good cow herd. If you're a historian and you study back the history of Guardian, there's some great cattle behind that bull. We have high hopes for this bull. I guess you could say that Guardian's the most recent page in the V8 Ranch history book, but those stories are still being written. Right now as we sit here, there's more Guardian calves being born out on the ranch. And it's our sincere hope that Guardian is the bull that's able to bring two ranch histories together, yours and ours, and that he creates the shared chapter 
that years from now we're able to look back on and remember those conversations that led our two ranch histories together. <laughs>